Hello viewers, you are once again welcome to Construction Without TV. So in this video, we are coming to look at POP ceiling as against plasterboard ceiling. And so we will look at the dynamics. A lot of people are in a dilemma when they get to ceiling works. They don't know whether to choose POP or just send plasterboard. In this video, we are coming to look at the pro and the cons for each of these two materials for your ceiling. Be with me as we delve deep into the benefit of using any of this material we are talking about. Subscribe to this channel, Construction With That TV on YouTube. You can also subscribe and share with friends. Click on the notification icon so that each time we share a video, you also get it and watch it, which will help you in your construction project or any construction related project you are embarking. Kindly follow this video and watch till the end. Thank you. I want to look at the cost of um, putting up POP ceiling as against plasterboard. We will also look at the finishing aspect. When you finish how it will look like. We will look at the installation time. We will also look at the labor cost for each of this material. And then the design and then aesthetic. When you finish and you paint, how would it look like? We will delve into it. In terms of maintenance, I mean, when it gets damaged and you want to maintain, which one is expensive, which one is less expensive, we will look at it. And then which one can resist water? So in case you have a roof leakage and your, your, your roof is leaking, which one will be able to resist the water that, that comes on top of it? So when it comes to the cost item, when you look at the um, a meter square of a POP, and then a meter square of a plasterboard. Plasterboard tends to be expensive. It is 25% expensive than POP. In terms of crack, POP tends to crack when it's under pressure or if your installer don't install it very well. But plasterboard don't crack. Plasterboard has this liner inside which prevent it from cracking in terms of finishes because plasterboard is big um when you finish you have a lot of joint but pop when you install it and you install it properly you don't see any trace of joint in your ceiling when it comes to installation time because the panels are produced in the factory and assembled and finalized on site, its turnaround, its turnaround time is extremely short, which means that if you are installing a plasterboard, the time it takes for you to finish installation is shorter as against a POP. You know POP because it's in a powder form, you have to mold it, wait for it to dry before you install it. So in terms of time for installation, plasterboard is shorter than pop it takes a lot of, a lot of time for you to finish installing pop design and aesthetic the pop um can take an any pattern or design complex designs are easily achievable so if you have a complex design in your bedroom in your living rooms and you use pop you can easily achieve it but when it comes to the plasterboard, sometimes it tends to be troublesome to achieve, but not attainable. So it's always troublesome, but not attainable, which means that if you get an installer who is very uh, good, he'll be able to install the plasterboard with a certain design that you want. But in terms of POP, attaining that design is easily achievable. Repair. So your, your ceiling is damaged and you want to repair. When you are using um, POP, repairs are simple and only a tiny part of the ceiling needs to be cut into and remolded if necessary. So for instance, you've done your ceiling and you realize that you have a problem at a certain area that you want to fix. You just cut that area with POP, you just cut that area and then fix it back and then paint over. But with plasterboard, if you don't take care, you have to remove an entire space before you'll be able to repair it. So that is the difference when it comes to repair. Yes, so water resistance. 
water resistant. It's a key to install your, your ceiling and um, you have roof leakages. If you don't take care, uh, it will give you problems. So when you look at um, POP, POP ceiling are water resistant. If you put up POP, it can resist any form of leakage that comes on it. But if you install plasterboard, if motion makes its way into the gypsum ceiling from leaking or air conditioning drain tubes, it can lead to fungal growth or warping. So if you install a plasterboard and there's a leakage on it, it clearly shows, you can see clearly that this part of my room is leaking. And in that case, the entire POP or that area must be changed. So every time you have roof leakages, you have to change a certain part or a certain portion. Whereas POP will be able to resist that kind of leakage. So in terms of labor, I mean for plasterboard, you don't need any skilled artisan to do it. You don't need any skilled artisan to do it. But when it comes to POP, you need a skilled artisan, someone who has done it and knows how to go about it. And so with plasterboard, I mean, any artisan can fix it, especially if he's a carpenter, he can fix it. But with plasterboard, uh, with, with, but with um, POP, plaster of Paris, you need a skilled artisan to be able to fix and install it properly. And so viewers, this has been or this is the difference between installing a pop or a plasterboard for your ceiling i mean you can decide for yourself um when it comes to the design it all depends on you on what you want to achieve look at the pro and cons and decide for yourself thank you for watching kindly subscribe to the channel so that you will be able to produce more of this video you can also Drop your comment in the comment section who should help us improve on our next video. Like and share so that, I mean, it will motivate us to do more of this video. Thank you for watching. See you.